Hi guys, look what I've got. This was my eBay, yeah, it wasn't drunk eBay, but did a cheeky bid on eBay last weekend. It's arrived today. It's a um, slim PlayStation 3, 320 gig hard drive. I've already got it, um, I've, I've had a PlayStation account for a while. I've got this um, already rigged up. And um, it works absolutely spot on. I'm going to show you through it. We have a quick twist of the camera down to the telly. I've already installed every game that I've, that I've got from the PlayStation Network. So um, just to protect my ID online, I will not show you that. So it does work, it's fine. You now we're look, looking on the um, what type to get for these. I've got the um, oh, the other side of the room, two of the fat versions, and I'm going to keep those. I did put them on eBay, but I did. I was trying to get rid of them. But if I ever come across another one and it needs parts in it, then I might as well keep it and just see what's what. So I'll go through what I got with this auction. PlayStation Three. Super slim, 300, like I said, 320 gig hard drive. Mains cable, not official Sony one, but I don't really care, I'm not really bothered. So, yes. Came with a, 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 an aftermarket Geotech joystick. Problem with it is this button here is absolutely screwed. I can probably get inside it and play about with it, but it's, it's not pretty. The ones are the... Um, Top's missing off that, which I have got a spare, I think. And that looks like it's been glued on. But it does work, except that is always pressed down inside it, so it's constantly on. So I could do with going into it, but do I need to? No, because I've already got, from before, the proper original ones, the um, 6-axis and the DualShock 3. So this is going to be my... Um, Con uh, yeah, controller of choice anyway, the DualShock 3. Perfectly the second one, the um, the 6-axis one, but both wireless, both Bluetooth, done. So, what else came with this? This is the package I got. This came on the auction, again, £40. It came with 13 games, right? You ready on this one? Over there I'll go. Right, we start off with a bit of a rip-off. Band Hero. Hooray, you got Band Hero. They're not all sparkling and brand new, whatever, but... <sighs> yeah, that kind of broke. But it doesn't come with a disc. It only comes with a book. And then a code number there for Taylor Swift's album. <laughs> not bothered. So, we have Band Hero box. We have Uncharted 2. All of these have discs and manuals with them. Well, discs at least, anyway. Uncharted 3. Disney Sing It. Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty. Is it Modern Warfare 3? Yeah. Call of Duty 3. I pet. No, well, no one that the box is broke on it, but. I haven't got a, a camera for it, so it doesn't matter. Sing Star and Dance. Ratatouille. Ridge Racer 7. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So, I could go there, to be honest. So, not a bad package, you'd think. This is what the eBay auction... Oh, no, sorry. And... Grand Theft Auto 4, disc only. So that kind of half compensates for, for not having a game with that one. But that what this was the auction. Again, £40. 13 games, 12. But 13 games came, controller, which needs fixing, and a 320 gig hard drive. Now, what I con was considering is complaining to the guy, because one is packaged them crap. But they've arrived in one piece, they're working. This little bit on here, you can see that. I've tried cleaning it, but it's um, it's warm on there. I need to get the plastic cold before I clean this crap off it. But it's fine. Um, 
complain that the, the packaging was crap, a couple of the cases are, are broken, and there's no band hero in it. However, and I stress this, I think he may have cocked up because Call of Duty, no, no, Call of Juarez, the cartel is with it. There's a starter pack for the PlayStation Move. Call of Duty Ghosts. Red Dead Redemption. And Tiger Woods PGA 11. Now, do I complain that that hasn't turned up, that, that isn't in the box, and a couple of the boxes are broken? Well, he's given me five extra games. And to be honest, four really aren't that bad, to be honest. Red Dead Redemption, Call of Duty. And again, £40. That, that's, I think that's an absolute bloody bargain. To have a PlayStation which actually works, and this is probably the model to get, the slim version. What I read upon these is they don't fail, or if they do, it's, it's very rare. The Super Slims look cheap and nasty because they have that top that slides across and you put your disc in and slide it back across again. Kind of reminiscent-ish of, um, of a PlayStation 1, sort of, where the... The lid comes off, but it's it's kind of separate to be an, an integral part to come out of. Never had to check that out. We're going to check if there's a disc inside it, but no, there isn't one. But forty pound cannot go wrong with this. Even to flog some of these, I'd probably get most of the money back. Boot up again. But it works fine. Absolutely perfect. I'm really happy with it. Coming up with photo epilepsy thing on there. Da 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 da. And woo, we go again. So, definite winner. Turn off your bugger. There you go, thank you. So, I'm gonna have some. I'm glad I've got the PS3. I don't want to chip it. I'm gonna strip this down. I've done a video on stripping one of these down, but I might actually just do a quick recap sort of video on stripping this one down. Because I think it's gonna be a little bit dirty. But that'll be some other time. I've got a few something to do this weekend anyway in Blackpool. So, yeah. But that's my latest. I've also got, if you're interested, I've got some lithium grease. Yay! So I can um, lube things up properly instead of using... Um, yeah. What are I using? I'm using goose fat or something or, or WD-40 or something like that. And it's just not, it's not long term, but lithium grease is a lot better for it. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like that, please subscribe. If you're new, if you're new um, subscribers, I've noticed a few others turning up. Thank you very much for subscribing. I hope I'm, I'm pretty good for you. And if not, then please comment and tell me what else I could do to help out. Anybody going to Blackpool this weekend, I'll see you there. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also experimenting in live streaming as well. Um, looking into doing that a few games if I can get the time at the minute I've got absolutely no time can't even put time in to put a bloody video on or play this but I'll find something so anyway thanks for watching really appreciate your views and I'll see you in the next video or Blackpool on Saturday bye Extra part, I've already got that Gran Turismo 5 to play. Ooh. Plus, if you're watching this after the 27th of October, then I won't see you next Saturday at Blackpool because it's 27th of October 2018 when the Expo is. So, yeah. Bye.